Face coverings are the most powerful public health tool against the coronavirus. That's according to the head of the US Center for Disease Control and Prevention. He said this week that they are the best defense. <coughs> At a lab at the Matter Hospital, they're putting different types of coverings through the ringer, testing their effectiveness. <coughs> Recorded on a high-speed camera, this is the load of droplets expelled from the nose and mouth when not wearing a covering. Coughing means more and they travel further. <coughs> and this is what happens when breathing through a common surgical mask the volume expelled into the air is reduced. There are similar results from a cloth covering. I mean, masks aren't balloons. They do let some gas pass through them. The important thing is that they're cleaning that breadth of droplets. So you need to make sure your mask fits around the sides and edges. There are though questions around the effectiveness of visors. You see with the visor though, an awful lot of a breath is diverted, unfiltered downwards. And that's important for people to know, particularly people who are standing above other people. So that might be people working in restaurants, uh, cabin crew, uh, hair, hairdressers or barbers, uh, possibly teachers. This laser technology at the lab highlights the droplets hanging around. The research also shows that the droplets and aerosols from our nose and mouth can remain suspended in the air for up to an hour before they fall to the ground. The findings here, something to consider as we go about our daily lives. Connor Hunt, RTE News.